Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Those of you who have been following me for a while now will know that towards the end of last year I was sent the costume that you see behind me from the film Lay Girls that was worn by Mitzi Gaynor to restore and bring her back to life. If you haven't seen the video where I unbox her and put her on the mannequin and talk about the costume in general, I'll link that in the description below so that you can click on it and also on the end screen. In this video I will be showing you the work that I've done on the dress to bring her back to the way she is now. I hope you enjoy it and let's get on with the video. I'm starting by reattaching the frill onto the bottom of the second layer where it's pulled away. You can see a tiny little area here. The way I'm going to be doing this is I'm using a beading needle because they're very fine and a single thread and I'm going to sew into the original stitches so that way I'm not making any new or extra holes in the fabric. This is the pattern that I'll be using for the skirt support. I found it in the book Period Costume for Stage and Screen by Jean Honeyset. It's actually a bustle pattern, but I think the shape and size will work quite well under this dress. I'll be making it in this net, which is quite stiff, and then the frills that go on the top are in pleated crin. I want to keep it as light as possible, so not to add any weight to the dress. I start by cutting out the two pieces for the hip supports. I then sew in the four darts on each piece. This will give it the shape so that it sits out from the waist and hips. Once the darts are sewn in, I then sew in on each piece two strips of Rigeline to give it the support to hold it out. Here you can see me just ziggering this on to the hip piece. The thrills, which are then sewn onto the hip supports, are graduated in size from small at the top to big at the bottom. Where my crin wasn't wide enough for this, I just sewed two pieces together to give me the required width. These were then box pleated or double box pleated to give me the required width and then sewn on to the indicated lines on the hip support piece.
Sewing on the top frill was quite tricky because of the shaping that had taken place by sewing in the darts, but I managed it. Where the lace is torn, I'm putting a patch of a fine tulle behind it and I will hand catch the lace down to this. This is to help give it some support and hopefully will help it from tearing any further. Here you can see that I have unpicked the original back from the bodice. I've pressed it and laid it out onto the new piece of silk chiffon and now cutting around it. This fabric came from the shop Joel and Son in London and they were really helpful finding something that matched as close as possible to the original fabric. To attach the piece I work in small areas, pinning it on the stand and then here you can see me sewing it in with a very tiny running back stitch. So I will do a section then put it back on the stand and pin the next section because I'm working over another piece of fabric underneath which has a slight stretch to it. Once the chiffon is all sewn in, I then go around and reattach all the lace that I unpicked before using a tiny stitch, just sewing over the corded edge of the lace. And here she is finished. It's been really enjoyable working on a costume from one of my favourite dance sequences from a film and bringing it back to sort of what it looked like when it was new. The only thing that I've done differently to what you saw in the video was that I decided not to use the hoop structure for the hips and what I've done instead is just do layers of net. Um, this was just to make it a little bit softer and also 
a bit more adaptable when it goes back to the owner and it will be displayed. She is going to be on display in America in the next few months so look out for any advertisements for this exhibition and I will also post a link in the description about it below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, please join me again very soon and please remember to like and subscribe.